Welcome to Lecture Online. Here we're going to do a very interesting problem, one that has actually two unknowns. Even though we're just looking for the time, it also did not give us the final omega. Notice that the acceleration is 4 radians per second square and that the total distance covered equals 57.3 degrees, which is exactly 1 radian. Well, not exactly, but close enough. All right, how do we do this? Again, we draw a omega versus time graph. This is time. Omega, and let, let's try and make this a straight line. There we go. And we start with an omega equal to zero, increasing to some final omega. We don't know what the final omega is. And that takes a certain amount of time, and we don't know what time that took. So there's two unknowns, and this is the one we're looking for, the unknown time. Well, we know two things. We know that the slope represents the angle acceleration, and we know that the area underneath the graph represents the angle of distance traveled, and we know both of those. We know the angle acceleration, and we know the distance traveled. We know the equation for the slope is as follows. The slope, which is the angle of acceleration, which is equal to the rise divided by the run, is equal to a rise of omega final and a run of t. Those are the two unknowns, and since we know alpha, we can say that 4 equals omega final divided by t. Then use the second equation for the area. We know that theta equals the area, and we know that the area is equal to one-half the base times the height. Theta is known, it's one equals one-half, the base is the time, and the height is omega final. And when we put it over there, we can say that two equals t times omega final. So now we have two equations and two unknowns. Since we're looking for omega, what we can do is we can solve this equation for, I mean, no, we're not solving for omega, we're solving for time, and so we can solve this equation for omega and plug it into the first equation. So omega is equal to 2 divided by time, and let's plug that in here. That's omega final, there we go. When we do that, we get 4 is equal to omega final, which is 2 divided by time times time, or 4 equals 2 divided by time squared. We can solve that one for time. Let's go over here, and we can say that t squared is equal to 2 divided by 4, or t is equal to the square root of 1 half. And finally, when we plug it into a calculator, we find that t is equal to 0 0.707 seconds, which is what we're looking for. The time that it took to go from 0 to the final omega in this amount of time. If you now want to find out what the omega is, you can plug in the time over here. You can say, well, this is equal to 2 divided by 0 0.707. And let's see here. I got a calculator here somewhere. 2 divided by 0 0.707, and that ends up being about 2.83 seconds. Oh, and no, I should say radians per second. 2.83 radians per second for the final omega, in case you were interested. And that's how we do that. So in this case, there were two unknowns, and with a graphical technique, we can simply solve for both of them using the equation for the slope and the equation for the area at the same time. And that's how it's done.